Hey guys, Griffin here. In the past, I've made add-on videos and I've talked about a lot of my favorites. One of them was weak auras, but I didn't go into a full explanation on how weak auras works. And I think that'd be a really helpful thing, especially if you're a little hesitant to use weak auras because it can be a little intimidating. So I just kind of wanted to walk through what weak auras is. Um, if you don't know, if you want to, if you have it downloaded and you want to pull it up, you type slash um, WA and it will pull this screen up right here. Now, what you're looking at on the left are a list of weak auras that I currently have. There's two categories, there's loaded and there's not loaded. Not loaded means it's not currently running right now, but I, it does exist. So, uh, for example, I have a, a raid consume that only needs to run when I'm in a raid, so it's not loaded right now, which makes sense. Uh, another one um, I have that is loaded is my self buffs, and it's gonna track to see if I have or my self buffs are running off cooldown. Um, I, my debuff counter is always running and my kitty combos is counting. So the kitty combos is a good example of something I'll show you. So let me, there we go. So kitty combos is going to show me my, uh, my combo points right on my screen right here to track so I know exactly how many combo points I have on a target so I know when to use my, uh, my finishing moves. Very helpful. Uh, sorry, it's gonna bother me. I was doing a bombing run, okay. Um, very helpful if you're trying to track, you know, your, you know, your combo points and you don't want to look maybe down here or maybe up here, or maybe you've got it on the, um, the, you know, like the nameplates, which is fine. Um, but if you're running like multiple nameplates, it might be hard to see which one has the combo points. This is just easier for me and that's what I use, but you can use whatever you want. That's what's cool about weak auras. Another one I use is where's my mana. So when I am in cat form, or bear form, I wanna be able to see my mana. So I have it down here at the bottom. Um, here, let me show you. So it's right here. It looks like part of my UI, but it's actually an, a weak aura I added. So when I'm not in form, it hides. So if I'm in form, I can see my mana. If I'm in bear form, same thing. Um, but yeah, it's a small little tool I use to keep a better track of my, um, you know, my tools. Uh, another, try to find another good one. Um, I do, I have a raid consumes one. Um, actually, this is probably the best. This is the one I actually use. So this, when I'm in a raid, it'll show me which buffs that I, or sorry, which consumes I have that I'm not using. Um, so for instance, if I, if I don't have a food buff, but I do have food in my bag, it'll show this symbol to remind me to eat, you know, eat my food buff. Um, I went crazy with this one and I actually put cu custom options. So like if you don't want scroll of protection, um, you could just check it off. I did all this, took me a lot of time to do, but it makes it much easier for me. So when I'm in a raid, I'm never wondering, oh, am I fully buffed with my consumes? The answer is as long as there's nothing here, I'm good to go, um, which takes a lot of pressure off me. And that's a nice little tool to have. Um, now, a lot, um, a lot of the stuff I have in my profile. So if you, if you see anything here that you're like, oh, that'd be cool. Just check out my Wago profile. It'll be in there. Um, it's in my Yahoo, or Yahoo, my YouTube um, channel description, so you can grab it from there. Okay, so let's talk about how these things work. So let's let's just create one, and I'll show you what I'm doing and why, because they're actually pretty simple. So let's just click New Aura, and we're gonna select. I'm gonna go through these really quick. Dynamic Group is just a collection of weak auras. It doesn't. It's not actually a an aura itself. Same thing with Group. Icon is going to show you a a little icon. So like these. Um, where where's that? These things right here. These are icon um, weak auras. Okay. Um, a model is a 3D model. I don't use these, but I guess you can use a 3D model. It's pretty much just like a texture, which I'll get to. Progress bar is great. I use them for, um, here, let me show you, for tracking debuffs on a target to make sure that I keep them applied. So he's got fairy fire up. I'm going to put mangle and lacerate. So if you watch right here, I have a weak aura that will remind me to reapply when it's getting low. So I don't have to micromanage all of my debuffs. Like, oh, I need to reapply it, mangle. Oh, and he missed. Okay. Um, and then I, so I got the lacerate one if I reapplied it. Now he's got mangle on there. He's gonna be dead before anything else happens. Um, okay, so let's let's kill that guy. And same thing, now he's got these buffs. And now if I have a multiple mobs and I'm just swiping away, it's nice to just know, like especially like lacerate and mangle, that they're about to fall off. So lacerate's up, mangle's up. There we go. Um, that's a really handy weak order for me. Uh, but people do it different ways, so yeah. Okay, so that's that's what that does. Um, that's that's what the progress bar. It lets me know it's about to fall off. Okay. Now progress texture is very similar, but it's usually used. Um, it's usually used as you can see, like these little loops. It's usually used right here to show you like your health pool, your mana pool, 
sometimes people will have um like mages will have their um proc you know countdown so they know how long they have on icy veins or something like that so they can just visually see how much time they have left instead of having to look at like a number and say okay i've got six seconds it's just it's getting close to the bottom kind of thing stop motion i don't use um text is just what it is it's just a text one and then texture which is the one we're going to use for this demonstration it's just going to be an image that's on the screen so let's go ahead and select that so the default is are these little squigglies but let's let's change it so once you select a week where there's all these tabs there's display trigger conditions actions animations load custom options and information custom options and information you don't really have to worry about custom options is when you want to go real creative and make it so it's a it's more of a flexible tool than just a weak aura and then information is just if you're creating something that you really kind of think you can put out in the world um and you want to put it on wago.io you'd fill it out so that people have information about this new um weak aura okay so for display this is going to show you what's displayed and what it looks like so let's do the texture first so the texture is aura 3 let's change it to let's see let's change it to this I've never used this one before. Okay. And I don't like the color of that gray. Let's use, this green's a little too bright. Let's try, yeah, like uh, like right there, almost like a, a teal. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like, but it's a little too small for me. So I'm gonna change this to 500 by 500. You don't have to maintain the aspect ratio. You can make it look however you want. Um, and then I'm actually gonna fade this a little bit just so it, kind of blends better there we go so when i see that i know i've got an omen of clarity proc at least that's what the plan is going to be okay so i like how this looks um now i need to actually set up the trigger which is the thing that would cause this to show up so the default trigger so this is trick automatically set to trigger one is aura player buff so it's kind of already set up for what we want but it can do combat log events uh it can do just other add-ons firing just a spell being cast all kinds of different stuff um, combat log is a very handy one, but it's very complicated. Um, you have to know, like, if it's a spell cast, that's not too bad. But if you start getting into, like, um, you know, I'm trying to think of a good example. I guess spell is more common one, but cast start um, is like, hey, they're casting the spell. So, like, let's say you're PvPing and you're not using the built-in add-ons and you want to know when someone's casting whatever spell on you. Um, you can have this notify you if you want. Um, but we're going to stick with just aura for now. So... Aura can is pretty much saying like a buff, but um, but it also includes debuffs. So here are the different choices. I'm obviously going to be choosing player, but you could choose target. Like if the player, if a target gives itself a buff, you might want to know. Um, like let's say you're playing PvP and you want to know when a warrior um, it goes in berserk, you could pretty much figure this stuff out using this. But right now we're going to focus on ourselves, um, and then we're going to focus on a buff. So we're just going to use the name of it, and it's called clear casting clear casting now this symbol right here is going to represent the spell but as you can see there's more than one it says there's four that means this is going to fire on any four of those clear casting spells now the other three are likely for other classes um other classes also have a clear casting ability i think mages and shaman are the two I, i'm not 100 percent um one of ours is there now if you don't want to use the the name and you want to use the exact spell id you can look it up on wowhead it's usually in if you look up the spell it'll be in the um, the URL as that number that's up there. But for now, this will work just fine. So essentially we're saying when we want this to trigger when I have the buff of clear casting. And now there are other things like, uh, I mean, I don't really need any of these, but like if you're doing something that has a stack and you want to make sure the stack count is a certain one, or um, like if the name of it is instead of uh, this, you can do something like um, contains like of the wild. So that way, Gift of the Wild and Mark of the Wild would both be treated here. Um, you could do that. I wouldn't really recommend it because you could also just add both of them right here. It would work just the same, but still. Um, it's a lot of flexibility. You can kind of figure out as you go. And you don't need just one trigger if you don't want. Like this is For this, you're only going to need one trigger, but you can have multiple triggers um, for more complex stuff. Um, here, let me change this to Omen of Clarity so it doesn't drive me crazy. Of Clarity. I probably should just be clear casting. Actually, clear casting. Okay. So I have a clear casting um, buff. Now all it ha now we we're done actually. Uh, we can change a couple other things um, so we can add conditions. I wouldn't recommend this if you're new at this, but um, it's more complicated than it looks like. It allows you to be uh, kind of give it like more give it more things to do. 
I recommend just avoiding this for now until you get into more of like the more complex stuff. Um, actions. So if you want other stuff to happen too, so like when it's first on init means when it's first set up, you can show it. Um, when it's displayed, so like let's say, let's do. You really, man, let me do, I don't know if, so there's kind of a rule now, um, this is kind of important, but like you aren't allowed to just say stuff through a weak or a lot of times because they don't want you spamming chat with it. Um, so I, I doubt this will even work, but um, I got a clear cast prop. Or you can have it play a sound to you. Like if you're more of a sound person, even though clear casting already does the sound, um, you could add your own sound. Uh, for other things that don't have sounds, you can add them. Um, let's just so let's just try this before we get too into the weeds. Okay, so let's grab this guy right here, and I'm just gonna go into bear and hit him until I get a clear cast. Oh, I probably need to have clear casting up. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we're just gonna wait for the proc to happen. This could take a while, and I apologize. Oh, there we go, clear casting. So my mix scrolling um, battle text showed it up here, but also I've got it here, and then when I use it, it goes away. Um, really handy if you're, you know, trying to min max and you want to know when, like, the main thing I would use clear casting for is so you know when not to power shift. It makes more sense if you have a clear cast to stay in the form you currently are. Um, so let's see if I can do this again. This guy's going to die faster than I can. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you saw it. Like, it, I got a clear cast proc. It let me know visually, and it was up in my face. And that's kind of what weak ores can do. That's a very limited example. But, like, I'll give you another example. Like, so Thames, um, he makes these tier packs. So, this is the tier four pack. I believe there's a tier five pack. And what this does, actually, if you look on it, it's got all these different effects that they want to have tracked in tier four. So, um, like if you look at the cave in on gruel, it will notify you. It works a lot like DBM does, um, except it's in a weak aura because that's essentially what DBM is, is a very complex weak aura. So Thames makes these. So um, if you don't want to do a DBM or if you want more flexibility because you only want this to be running when you're in, um, you know, mag gruel and, uh, and apparently Mulgore, uh, that you can have it set up that way. Um, very flexible stuff. Um, some other examples I'm trying to think of that um, you might find handy is let's see lfg match raid mana this is actually a really cool tool i kind of bastardized this um this isn't mine i don't know whose it is um i borrowed it from somebody else's and then just changed it drastically um but essentially what this does is it tracks mana of all the all the casters mainly healers um shaman kind of get grouped in there because it's hard to tell if they're a healer or a caster um and same thing with paladins and druids but it gives you a quick, um, so let's say average mana, it, for your whole raid, it'll give you a quick example of where your average mana is at, so you know whether to pull the next trash pack. You're like, okay, we're at 46 average mana, let's wait a second. Very handy, uh, you can use this in five bands too, I think I only use this in raids, and I would know that by going to load, the tab we haven't talked about yet. Yeah, I've got it set up to in group, in raid. Um, I can also show this only for druids like pick a specific class if i want to or i can pick multiple classes if i want to um but honestly i use it in all my rating no matter what my class is so it's just going to stay like that um yeah you can change all kinds of stuff it's very flexible feel free to play around with this i hope this at least makes you feel more comfortable uh getting into you know weak auras and messing around with them again a good way to start weak auras is also to take someone else's weak aura and tweak it to make it more comfortable to you um so yeah just go to like wago.io search for something that you think would be a really cool weak aura see if someone's created one and then take it and then modify it now i do want to put one big uh kind of caveat here if you haven't heard about this some people in the past have used weak auras to steal gold from people <laughs> because um, that's kind of the evil they are. Now, Wago is pretty good at um, eliminating those kinds of weak auras. So I think you'd be kind of safe. You can use any of mine, then it would do anything like that. Um, but you can definitely, you definitely want to be careful with these weak auras pulling off of like random people. Like if someone, because you can actually share them with people in your raid if you want to. Um, just be careful what you're pulling down because you want to make sure that they're not going to steal your gold. It's kind of confusing how it does it. But essentially, this can manipulate things so that when you you know, open your uh, your mailbox, it can dump a bunch of gold and send it to someone for you. Um, it's not very common. You shouldn't have to worry about it too much, especially if you're broke like me. 
Um, but just keep that in mind if you're going crazy and you know, pulling a bunch of weak auras. Just make sure that like they've been you know at least looked at by other people. Um, don't if it's a brand new one or it hasn't if it's not from Wago. I would just be careful. Um, but yeah, that's the the basic information I want to get over today. If you have any questions about weak auras or if you have a cool idea for a weak aura and you need some help, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Go ahead and put it in the comments. I try to respond as often as possible. If you want to help me out, uh, it would help out a lot if you like and subscribe this video. And as always, guys, take care.